Okay. Um. Today we we um we have the chance to be interviewed um a little bit about the, a scandal uh, with uh, Mr. Jeffrey Heinzel, uh, from um and um so we have some questions and the first question is um what's your uh, general feelings towards the this year's Hong Kong High End AV show? Well, um, I want to talk about my feeling and, of course, also about uh, the feedback I got uh, from many customers. Uh, and they were really, really <laughs> impressed with the performance of the theater, of course, by the image quality, by the presentation of the products, and, of course, also by the sound quality. And um, it's it's um, this year um, playing at a level it never played before and um, certainly also at a level which um, surpasses you know whatever i heard here in this market before um, of course also due to the fact that uh, first we uh, play completely digital that means there is no conversion of the audio signal um, coming from the storm audio processor um, we're using actually a complete networked system uh, playing with um, the AVB technology. AVB stands for audio video bridging, which transports up to you know 32 channels uh, over a single uh, Ethernet wire or uh, cat wire uh, to each single speaker. We had uh, 32 speakers uh, in this uh, theater, and. Uh, the dynamics and the resolution and uh, also the base extension um, was was just uh, mind blowing. You know, we had uh, two 24 inch subwoofers with uh, six kilowatt each in power, and and that was just really, really, really good, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, and okay, th for um, the um, I know that. Um, in Munich, there's this um, Munich show, Munich High End show every year. Um, so, and it's become one of the most prominent um, shows in the industry. Um, how would you compare the, the Munich show to, to, to the show that we have here? Well, the Munich show um, has uh, one major difference in my observation. Um, uh, in Munich, uh, mainly there are manufacturers uh, exhibiting themselves and basically there is one company per room. And here in Hong Kong, you have uh, almost the same number of, let's say, brands collected. But um, of course, um, the brands are distributed by distributors uh, uh, like Richcon, and then of course um, each distributor carries a number of uh, high quality brands here and uh, I think that's the main uh, difference between Munich and uh, Hong Kong the quantity of brands I, I think is almost almost uh, equal or maybe <laughs> even bigger in Hong Kong than in Munich uh, but uh, of course uh, maybe the the number of products is uh, smaller here in Hong Kong than uh, and also the, the way they they are presented is maybe uh, different you know because um, each uh, distributor here in Hong Kong focuses on maybe his his uh, one or two main brands he wants to promote and the other brands are are just maybe displayed or not even displayed and and that's the big difference i think in unique and uh, uh, hong kong and and would you um just to further uh, on the question would you consider this um well sort of like compare this hong kong high end av show to munich would you call this like the far east munich show would you would you uh, term this um, i would say say um attending now the Hong Kong show for what like the last 20 years <laughs> or so so I, I of course can can uh, give you a little bit of feedback of, of the development of this show and I would definitely say the Hong Kong AV show uh, where I met myself my Indian distributor I met myself you know Thai distributor I met myself uh, Malaysian distributor and uh, Indonesian distributor and all that so it certainly turned out to be um, the melting pot and the meeting point for Southeast Asia. I, I, I would, uh, I if that's basically the direction where you want to go, yes, definitely, I would say so. Yeah. And um, thank you. And um, something about the, your products. Um, 
we've seen your all your active speakers um, from 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 on demo here, including the six, twelve, and the the, the twenty five, the twenty four inches subwoofers. Um, but there are active subwoofers. There are active speakers. Do you have passive versions? Um, that's a very good question because uh, we uh, just came out with a number of passive loudspeakers to cover a broader range uh, or a broader market. Let's let's say it this way. Um, and and passive speakers are of course more flexible to be to be combined. Let's say with with uh, a number of. Um, uh, receiver manufacturers um, and, and uh, maybe suited more to the let's say the, the Hong Kong market also yeah uh, where you uh, can sell bigger quantities and so we came up uh, with um, very specifically designed uh, speakers um, to cater for that market um, one of which for example we just came up with a five and a quarter point source, coaxial, very shallow, three inches deep, so basically seven and a half centimeters deep, wall hanging and ceiling mount uh, speaker, which uh, is perfectly suited for uh, smaller home theaters for all five uh, or seven channels, or uh, as a surround speaker for larger home theaters, you know, for ceiling and for surround speakers. And then we have also a passive uh, speaker uh, with a six and a half inch, uh, which also is installed uh, as, a, as, a, as a speaker driver in the active version of uh, our home theater speakers, but uh, now we offer that also as a passive version. And then um, we also came out, uh, but I think this uh, new line didn't reach Hong Kong yet, with a 10 inch and a 12 inch passive version, yeah, um, which um, also uh, employ uh, a point source coaxial driver uh, and very very high efficiency and very high power handling just to give you some numbers I mean the 12 inch point source coaxial has an efficiency of 99 dB for 1 watt 1 meter distance and has a maximum SPL of 126 dB so you can almost reach the same performance levels as with the active speakers yeah um, so yeah we we came out with some passive speakers um, and uh, maybe that also helps you to broaden the market a little bit with uh, Ascendo immersive audio speakers. Um, and one last question um, about your uh, Ascendo home theater speakers. Um, if if you were to use three characteristics to describe Ascendo um, home theater speakers, uh, what what would those be? three characteristics? Well, um, the main and I think uh, most important characteristic is, like I already pointed out a few times, uh, we have uh, employed point source coaxial speakers, which um, are best suited for home theaters. Why? Because uh, when you look at um, a home theater, you don't have a one single sweet spot like in a stereo situation. Yeah, you have um, multiple seats, and all the seats, of course, want to enjoy the same immersiveness. Let's say in in a, in, a, in a home theater. That's why you have multiple speakers, of course, in a home theater. And a regular speaker with, let's say, a tweeter and the mid-range and a woofer can never ever, uh, just from a from a physical characteristics, play a home theater uh, time correct for all seats. Yeah, so only a uh, point source coaxial speaker can, and uh, that's why we choose uh, this technology um, to employ. And then, <coughs> of course, uh, the other characteristics of uh, Ascendo immersive audio is we uh, discovered that uh, the bass is the last frontier of a home theater, and um, that's why we introduced also in the last year um, three very big subwoofers. You know, a 24 inch a 32 inch and a 50 inch subwoofer so uh, why did we do that not because we're crazy but uh, because um, a lot of the movies today employ a lot of very low frequency below 20 hertz actually so infrasonic sound which gives you more the tactile impact and our subwoofers all employ uh, a sealed enclosure which gives you a very tight very controlled bass and very very um, subtle bass you hear the notes the different notes you know whereas with a lot of other subwoofers that have 
let's say vented designs or even you know passive uh, radiators design you know you hear basically not all the notes they just uh, very boomy you know okay thank you um, Jeffrey and um, we we hope we could uh, see you next year and um, we look forward to seeing more and experiencing more AIA home uh, home theaters in in this uh, region yeah thank you thank you